Hello everyone. On Monday, Thursday, we would normally gather together as a church family, eat together and then share in Holy Communion. Unfortunately, this year that is not possible. So I want to encourage you to still use Monday, Thursday and make it a special day. So if you live with other people, can I suggest that you set aside a time when you can eat together during the day, whether that be lunchtime or the evening meal. But to make it a special meal, make sure that you put away all those things that might cause distractions, such as mobile phones and the like. And try and make it a special meal, a different meal. If you don't live with anyone else, if you live by yourself, then can I encourage you to consider ways that you might be able to connect through technology with friends or family members. So, for example, you might arrange with your friends or with your family to connect on WhatsApp or FaceTime or Zoom or whatever app you might use and eat together. So you will still be in your own separate homes, but you will still be eating with one another and able to share in fellowship with each other. At the Last Supper, Jesus took wine and bread, blessed it and shared it amongst his disciples. Now, we cannot share in Holy Communion together this Monday, Thursday, but you might want to get some bread and some wine and in your meal, just break that and share that with one another, thanking God for all that he has done for us through Jesus. Can I also encourage you on Monday, Thursday to read one of the gospel accounts of what happened at the Last Supper? You may also like to read Paul's account in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 23 through to 26. Also at the Last Supper, Jesus washed his disciples' feet. Again, if you live with other people, you might want to consider washing one another's feet, or if you prefer, washing one another's hands. But can I encourage you, please try and use Monday Thursday, make it a special day, and we look forward to the time when we will be able to join together as the family of God to celebrate Holy Communion together. But until that time, may I wish you a very happy, joyful and blessed day. God bless you all.